Well, they call me uh, Clarence Temple Bridge Jr., I guess. <laughs> but I go by Temple. And see, I started farming when I was uh, 18 years old. So we bought the farm, and we've been there for 60-some years, I guess. And I've uh, seen a lot of changes in my life. Good God. You almost got to be an engineer to run all this stuff. You really got to be on the ball with it today. And today, you got to have your education. You got to be on top of everything. They cannot lag behind. So we've come a long ways. I'm Pat, and this is my husband, Temple. We have 16 grandchildren, okay. and we have eight great-grandchildren. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> we have eight. So Christmas is big, but we really see most of our family all the time because all of our children live within two counties. We farm separately, but as a family, we farm everything together. I'm Temple Rhodes. I was given the opportunity when I was 15 years old to get my first farm. The problem with agriculture is, is it's so tradition-bound. And that's what I was stuck in. I was doing what Dad was doing, and he was doing what his father did. I really want to think about anything in agriculture outside the box, because there's, I'm not saying that we want, I want to reinvent the wheel, but there's easier ways to get to things. You know, every day is a learning process. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not trying to learn something, trying to take something away. Change is inevitable, and we're not scared of it. We will change with the times, and we'll change as quick as, it, as we can. Everybody works together. Everybody has their part, and everybody has their part that they're good at, and we stick to it. I'm Jenny Rhodes. I am the owner of Deerfield uh, Farms. Uh, I always wanted to be a farmer growing up, and Dad always told us, don't wait for somebody to leave you something. Get out and make, it, make something of yourself. I work for the University of Maryland Extension. I'm a county ag agent, and I serve on lots of committees and do lots of things. I was, we were all in 4-H, and we were all in FFA, and and on to lead Maryland, and after lead Maryland, it was like, okay, what am I going to do back to give leadership? And I was asked to run for the Mid-Atlantic Farm Credit Board of Directors, and today I sit as chair of that board, and never in a million years would I think that I'd be a board, <laughs> heading a board of a $3 billion, um, you know, cooperative. So I have to have the correct data input, and data is only as good as the person that's putting it in. It, the technology is the most important part of it because without that technology, I completely lose a whole year of what my next choices are going to be. From hunting to farming to everything, it all goes back to all this technology, and that's where it's gotten us today. We have a conference every year where we bring women on the NAG together, and then we have a six-week uh, class called Annie's Project that we have kind of developed from the Midwest, but not only for farm and ranch women, but for women servicing agriculture. So whether they work at farm credit, whether they work at soil conservation, whether they work at NRCS, you know, any of these people to help them to better serve farmers. And it's been, um, it's probably one of my favorite programs, besides agronomy day when I have all the regular, you know, farmers, grain farmers come out. And, and the poultry, I do a lot in poultry education too, but I really do enjoy the women in ag. When you look back and you see and you see what you, you know, from my parents have taught me to me and my brother and sisters and then um, on to my children. It's, it's a pretty good feeling to feel that we have all endeavored in farming. And mom and dad were the ninth generation, right? Temple and I are the 10th. My children will be the 11th and my grandchildren will be the 12th. So that's a, you know, a lot of people can't say that. If you enjoy it and you love going out there and you like doing it every day, it's not work. It's not, you're just going to do what you enjoy, and that's what Dad's talking about. It's a good life. Yeah. It's been good to him. It's been good to our family, and it'll continue to be good to all of us as long as everybody enjoys what they're doing and keeps looking outside.